Hi guys, so it's the 24th of August and I honestly think that's enough said. So if you didn't take your GCSEs or A-levels this year then you won't know. But today's results day for GCSEs and I kind of feel physically sick. <laughs> I've got to go meet Mel at the school literally in one minute. Um, so yeah. Hi guys, so I've just put the camera down because I'm going to talk for a little bit. But I just got back, um, so if you can hear any background noise it's because people are literally, literally walking around and stuff like that. I already opened my results at school because I kind of had to because my parents were there and one of my friends was there. Um, so yeah, I have the envelope. I don't really know why it's not in a brown envelope. I'm going to cover up this. Um, yeah, I have my envelope. <laughs> and I'm honestly really happy with the results. I know some people were just like... Some people would be disappointed with them, I know that, but I tried my hardest and to get out with these results I'm really happy with. So in maths I did higher and I got a 4, which is equal to a C I believe, I'm not sure. Um, in English language I got a 6 and a merit in my speaking. In English literature I got a 4, in art and design, fine art I got a B. In music I got a D, in media I got a C, in history I got a C. And in additional science, I got a B. And in ECDL, which is like a level two in IT application skills, I got a distinction star, which I'm so happy with that. <laughs> but yeah, basically for anyone who doesn't know, the grades are changing, which kind of fucks us all up a little bit. But yeah, the grade boundaries are changing and I'm honestly super happy with these results. Like I got a six in English literature or English language and I thought I was gonna get a three and that I was gonna have to retake it in the maths papers were awful but I researched the grade boundaries this morning I don't really know if you can see my notes I researched some of the grade boundaries this morning and saw that the ones for maths were quite low um, I kind of knew I was going to end up with a D in music because I everyone always does really bad on the exam paper and we end up with like um, E's and F's and then the coursework and the performance side of it brings it up a little bit so I'm happy with that I'm super happy with that in um, media we kind of like had a little bit of a mess around like media was the piss about lesson and to come out with a C in that I'm super happy with because my coursework was quite high but obviously it's 60% exam 40% coursework which explains why it's gone down a little bit but I'm happy that my coursework's pulled that up. So yeah I got a B in unit 2 in media and a C in unit 1 which that would be a B in my coursework and a C in my exam. I got an E, <laughs> I got an e in my um music exam I got a D in my performance and a C in my composition which explains why I got an overall D in history my exam was a C and my coursework was a D I think I'm not sure and in science my controlled assessment was a B my in biology I got a B chemistry I got a B and physics I got a C yeah overall I'm not like, super happy with these results like, I was honestly expecting this to be like covered with D's and especially like, at least one E um, but I'm really happy with these results. <laughs> but yeah, just if you're doing your GCSEs, then just make sure you keep your head down and you study hard because I didn't in some of them and them ones were my worse or grades, if you know what I mean. But even if you revise for 10 minutes, at least you've done something, but just make sure you prepare yourself well for your exams if you're watching for this because I know that's all you want to watch. You just want to see what I got. Um, but yeah. <laughs>